Um, I was thinking back 50 years um, from the Como Federation of Melville's Choirs, I sincerely congratulate Lance and Melville's Choir for celebrating 50 years. It's a really long time. And congratulations, Jets. <laughs> At the end of the 1970s, I decided that I wanted to bring together all the male voice choirs in East Cornwall. And we called the concert in Silnash Wesley, East Cornwall Sings. And it comprised of all the Cornish, uh, East Cornwall male voice choirs. And we had such conductors then as Lavelli had just started with Nick Hart, with Paul Perra with uh, Jack Libby, and myself, the late Betty Pauley of Sotash Male Voice Choir, on and on and on. There's about seven male voice choirs. Here in Lanson, I found out that there were two male voice choirs. There was the Lanson Male Voice Choir and the Lanson Methodist Male Voice Choir. And all those years ago, my contact was John Beer. So you can tell a lot, I'm not going to say how many years that is. <laughs> but we did this concert in Sodash, and then we repeated it here about two years later. And I always remember that evening. We had Ken Pevick, who was sat at the organ playing, and Sue Davis on the piano. And we had some guests up from Falmouth called Adele and Margaret. And I always remember it because we always used to record the, the concerts that we did for these charities. And I'm sure this concert was for the Children's Hospice Southwest. And we did this concert, and the thing that sticks in my mind was actually all the conductors used to take two pieces each and bring the best out of the choir. It was a magnificent evening. We raised <coughs> many hundreds of pounds. And it was a great success. As I said, my point of contact with here was with John. And John, if you'd like to come up here for a moment, come up with me. It gives me great pleasure, John, to present to you, on behalf of the Cornish Federation of Male Voice Choir, this is a certificate in recognition. <coughs> It's a great pleasure making this award uh, for long and devoted service that you have given to conducting male voice singing in the county of Cornwall. And this comes with our congratulations and sincere thanks for 50 years of service to male voice singing.
and also a director of the choir, as it were, because he does direct us and he's very stern at all times. <laughs> John, it is with great pleasure on his behalf, on the behalf of all of the choir, that as you are, as it were, moving us a touch sideways, in, uh, we would like to present you with this particular jacket as a token of our esteem for all that you have done, as Phil has said, for Lawson Male Boys Choir in half a century. Thank you very much. And uh, to celebrate this 50th anniversary, I'm going to break one of my own rules. Uh, in the time that I've been comparing for Manson, and more lately with Tim Tadjol as well, uh, I've not repeated any of the stories that I've told. You've got to get told off by the boys if I do. Uh, I'm not sure really why, because most of the choir members can't remember what the musical directors are. <laughs> <laughs> but I've got to break down rule tonight, because I want to read to you a poem that I read at Beer Austin in 2011. You remember it, boys? <laughs> The choir master stood at the pearly gates. His face was worn and old. He stood before the man of fate for admission to the fold. What have you done, St. Peter said, to gain admission here? I've been a choir master, he said, for many and many a year. The pearly gates flew open wide. St. Peter touched the bell. Come in, he said, and choose your harp. You've had your share of hell. <laughs> we come to our final section, ladies and gentlemen, where the mass choirs will sing When the Saints, the Lord's Prayer, Gohadiad, and Morty Christi. There are one or two of our choir members who have not been well enough to sing with us tonight but are in the audience here. We're hoping they'll come and join us for Morty Christie. And if any men are here or in other choirs, etc., or no Morty Christie, do please come and join us at the appropriate time. We have one further thing to do, which will come as a surprise. Um, I'll hand over to Nigel. He's going to make a further presentation to John. If you'd like to come up, John, please. John, I, I'm sorry that I messed up. I've been thrown in uh, and sunk in the pool, but it is my utmost pleasure that we present you with a scroll of this nature that is the token of the 50 years that you have been part of Wilson Mayor Sport. I hope that you will enjoy it. Read at that distance, it says uh, to mark 50 years of dedicated service of the choir and an appreciation of 33 years as musical director, John Beer is hereby appointed musical director emeritus.